listening to the What the Wrestling Podcast, the show that brings you all things wrestling with your host, RJD. A crazy episode of Monday Night Raw. We're setting up war games. We're throwing out titles in the garbage. Get the fuck out of here! And we have somebody surprisingly show up. Surprise, motherfucker. But before we get into all of that, check out my socials. Yes, yes, follow me, RJD, RJ699 on the Twitter, RJD199 on Snapchat, but most importantly, follow What The Wrestling on Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. Follow What The Wrestling on Spotify and Anchor. Let's not waste any more time, let's go! Yes, yes, yes. Tis I, RJD here. Welcome to What the Wrestling, everybody. First things first. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into anything, like the goddamn video. Hit the like button, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel, What the Wrestling. Holla at your boy, HBO. Help a brother out. Shout out to the Poor Man's Podcast. Help a brother out. Hit the like button. We got like a subscriber here. We got a subscriber there. I appreciate all of the subscribers. Our likes are going up. We had about 643 likes last week on that clip. We had about another 100 on the clip I put up yesterday. Listen, we ain't talking about these big numbers, but you know what? I appreciate it because what happens when I get 100,000 likes or 100,000 views? If you don't appreciate the little stuff, you will not get the big stuff. So I appreciate it. All of it. All of it. Now, first things first. This crowd sucked ass. Listen, no disrespect to where they was at in, in, in uh, Pennsylvania. No disrespect, all right? I know the Phillies lost in the World Series. I know. <coughs> Too soon? Listen, Yankees got swept, okay? I get it. Believe me, I get it. Listen, my Ravens won yesterday, though. My Ravens won. But li- listen, I get it. Pennsylvania, I get it. But goddamn, can you act like you want to be there? Please, just a little bit. Can you please act like you want to be there? I mean, stupid. Come on, y'all. This crowd was horrible. You know what? Monday Night Raw would have been a good show yesterday. If the crowd gave a shit, they didn't give a shit about anything. Like, at all. I was like, God damn. Um, in all seriousness, you know, I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid. But seriously, this, uh, this crowd, man. I know you guys are still, you know, a little angry. Philly's lost. I hate, listen, I hate the Astros too. I do. Okay? I hate them too. But sheesh. You guys pay good money. Make some noise. But, um, yeah, man. Crowd crowd was a little off last night. They really didn't care about much. But Monday Night Raw had a lot going on. Now, I am not going to go in order here, even though I probably should. Wait, let me see. Maybe, maybe I can still go in order. Uh... 
Let me see. I don't really want to go in order because I, you know, I like mixing and matching and all of that. But you know what? Oh, the Lakers lost again. Or was this last night? Man, the Lakers are getting smoked. But um, you know what? I'll go in order. Screw it. Let's switch it up. Usos! The Usos came out first with Solo Sokoa, followed by the New Day. Crowd wanted Sami Zayn, but they didn't get Sami Zayn. Listen, okay? Stop the show, stop the show, stop the show. You only get Sami on Fridays, okay? No. No Sami Zayn for you. So, no Sami Zayn. But they talked about Crown Jewel, and what we had here was awesome. We had the New Day talking about how they had to scratch and claw and work for everything they had. They were sitting and catering, had to make YouTube channels just to get put on for somebody to notice them. Then we had the Usos talking about you had to live under, we had to live with our daddy being Rikishi, and then we had the NOIE bloodline family we had to live up to the name and you guys didn't want that pressure an awesome couple of minutes with them going back and forth i loved every minute of it they are going to have a kick-ass 20 minute match on friday i'm sure of it but then we had matt riddle come out and f up this segment stupid he made some bad jokes about the gongas and then they had themselves a match and the match was long uh matt riddle was setting up he hit the rko but then he ran right into solo sokoa who hit him with the spinning rock bottom and the bloodline got the victory here i was not um Matt Riddle kind of took away from this segment, which I didn't like. Because this segment was really serious, and these guys were really going in on each other. And, I mean, the New Day and Usos cannot have a bad match. It's impossible. If you think they can, stupid, there's something wrong with you. But I didn't like the fact that Matt Riddle kind of brought, you know, with the stoner jokes and shit, he kind of broke, he brought this segment down, man. And I normally don't say that about Matt Riddle, but it was a little weird. We had Cedric Alexander versus Baron Corbin. JBL was out there once again to introduce Baron Corbin. We did see uh, Cedric Alexander. Uh, where has he been? Nobody knows. But he was out here. He lost in a quick match. End of days. We had... Then we also had something that was very good. Seth freaking Rollins yeah he came out there and Mr. Seth Rollins went to the ring and was like listen you guys will have an open challenge tonight who wants to come out and face the man and I know that was a, a weak shimmy I know my shimmy is better than y'all know okay it's better than that stupid don't 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 judge me so we had the Judgment Day come out there. And Mr. Finn Balor said, listen, you cost me gold. Now I'm going to cost you gold. But then right after that, we had the OC walk right down there. And Seth Rollins looked left. He looked right. And he slowly Homer Simpson his way. <laughs> he slowly Homer Simpson his way out of this segment. Great stuff by Seth Rollins here. And after that, we had uh, a confrontation between the OC and Judgment Day. And you know what? He's, Mr. AJ Styles says, we are tired of Rhea Ripley. And we got something for her. And Mia Yim is back, everybody. Surprise, motherfucker. Activated my trap card. Now we have a woman and the OC beat the holy hell at a judgment day. Styles class to Dominic. They got them up out of there. Mia Yim is part of the OC for now. And I like that. 
that is good stuff. Perfect. Moving on. We had Elias versus Otis. Nothing to see here. Otis wins with the world's strongest slam. Elias should be at least doing sports entertainment, talking to the crowd, trying to build up that who wants to walk with Elias. He should at least be doing that. Him just losing in random matches, I don't think they're using him to his best potential. That's just me. We had Austin Theory versus Shelton Benjamin. That means we have had two former members of the Hurt Business on TV wrestling. Now, even though Austin Theory lost, that's okay. Nothing wrong here. Austin Theory, will, he will be back. But Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander, Bobby, Mr. Bobby Lashley, there are rumors that the Hurt Business is trying to get back together or Bobby wants them to get back together. And us seeing them on TV last night is all but confirmation that they're at least talking about it. Because I don't even remember the last time I seen these guys. So, with that being said, A-Town down, Shelton Benjamin lost. Quick match, nothing wrong here. We also had... Uh, we also had damage control. Well, backstage, let me not forget this. Stop it. We had backstage, Rhea Ripley looked at Bianca Belair, and she said, champ. And Bianca just kept it moving, and Rhea looked like, I'm going to get you, bitch. WrestleMania, I'm calling it. But I think Rhea Ripley does win the Royal Rumble, though. That's just my opinion. But... We had damage control out there with Bianca Belair, Asuka, and Alexa Bliss. The best part of this segment was Io Shirai and Asuka talking in Japanese, talking shit to each other. And then <laughs> Io, Io Sky said, bitch. And then we had Nikki Cross come out there and beat everybody up. So now on one side, we got damage control, uh, damage control. Nikki Cross, and they need one other person, and then we got Asuka, Alexa Bliss, and Bianca Belair, and they need two extra people, so who, oh who, could be coming back soon, <coughs> hey, oh me and Sasha Banks, <coughs> I don't know, you guys tell me, who do you think is coming back soon, surprise motherfucker, I hope it is who I think it is, moving on, Glad to see the Hurt Business might come back. We had The Miz and Johnny Gargano. This segment broke down as follows. The Miz was out there talking his talk, saying that he was going to do some type of movie star and movie movie segment, whatever. Johnny Gargano comes out and says, listen, the, the lady you spoke to and sat down with to do this movie star reality show, whatever this thing is, she uh, was hired by me. And they got The Miz talking about how he hired Dexter Loomis and everything was a farce. And now he's been outed. You activated my trap card. So he admitted everything Johnny said last week was true. And then they started a match. They had themselves a nice, nice, nice TV match. The Miz ended up winning because he reached under and he threw himself under the ring and said, no, Dexter, no. He told the ref to go check under there to see if Dexter Loomis was under there looking like the boogeyman and shit. Nope. Stop it. Get some help. Anyway, and then after that, he takes the turnbuckle and whacked Johnny Gargano over the head with it, and The Miz gets the win. Johnny Gargano is really good, really funny. He can play good guy, bad guy, great in the ring. That's why they call him Johnny Wrestling. Crowd didn't give a shit about this, but the crowd didn't give a shit about a lot tonight, so it is what it is. Then we had Brooke fighting Mickey Cross. For the 24-7 championship. Get the fuck out of here! Emotional damage. Dana Brooke was really mad about this on the Twitter. Talking about how she had put a lot of... I'm paraphrasing. Talking about how she had put a lot of work and... You know, blood, sweat, and tears into that belt. Only for it to get thrown in the trash. Which Nikki Cross did after she beat Dana Brooke in a 
very quick match, and the crowd didn't give two shits about it. And later on in the night, she just took it, tried to throw it in the trash subtly, but missed the trash can entirely. Stupid. And Dana Brooke wasn't happy about that. So I understand her frustration, but Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross. I like it. That's all I got to say about that. Then we had Seth Rollins come back out and say, listen, I promised you guys an open challenge, and I'm going to give you guys an open challenge. So, whoever's coming out, let's go. And then Ali, Mustafa Ali, shows up. And he says, Seth, listen, up here. Up here, buddy. You call yourself one to open. Hey, hey, what the hell? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Then we saw Bobby. Bobby Lashley said, there's two reasons why I lost my gold. Brock Lesnar and you. I'll answer your open challenge. And he went down there and then Ali came back and he said, oh my God. Oh my God. And he threw Ali against the wall and he kind of slid down like a Looney Tunes cartoon. So Bobby basically said, get the fuck out of here. So Bobby goes down to the ring and he goes to fight Seth. But in the middle of the ring entrance, not even, in the middle of his music, he clotheslines Seth out of the ring, beats the holy shit out of him, literally, put him through a table, hit him against the ring post, the steps, every guardrail, just pummels this guy. The refs have to come down, stop it, and they basically say, stop it, get some help. And he's like, yo, what the hell? Adam Pierce is out there, everybody's out there. Kind of guiding Bobby back. Bobby goes back. And who comes out? Surprise, motherfucker. Austin Theory comes out and he cashes in his money in the bank ladder match contract to fight the United States champion, Seth Rollins. Now, stop the show. Stop the show. I understand why a lot of people are angry at this. Number one, it's an open challenge, you idiot. Why didn't you just challenge him without the damn title? He's stupid. Without the briefcase. That's number one. Number two, Roman Reigns is the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Champion. Why didn't you fight that guy for all the marbles? He's stupid. I understand why people would be angry at this. Because logically, I'm going for the big dog. I'm not going for the U.S. title. But they needed they need to get the they needed to get the briefcase off of him because it should have never been on him in the first place. So they did what they had to do, what they thought was right. So I'm not gonna get mad at them for this. I know everybody wants to kill them. Like everybody's getting all mad, and everybody's like, listen. I understand, but tranquilo, it was a means to an end. They had to get the briefcase off of Theory because he ain't ready for that spot, according to them. And Seth Rollins has the, the only major belt on TV, so they had to make it a big deal. The only problem is Seth Rollins won the match. So Theory comes in. Excuse me. Theory comes in. They ring the bell. He hits him with a, a, a punch, kick out, a, 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 um, a something, kick out, a slam, kick out. Went for the A town down and got reversed. They fought outside for a little while. Excuse me. They fought outside for a little while. Um, but Theory hit A town down. But Bobby. Bobby Lashley came back, pulled the um, pulled Theory out. <laughs> Theory called him an idiot, and that was it. Theory was like, "You idiot!" And they beat he beat the holy hell, beat the holy hell out of Theory. Theory went back inside, beat the ten count just in time to get stomped in the head, and Seth freaking Rollins retains the 
uh, WWE US title. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh, man. Stupid. <laughs> oh, how do you cash in and lose? We got Sandow, Cena, and add Austin Theory to that list. <laughs> Not only did you cash in for the wrong title, you lost. At least if you would have lost going for the big dog, I would have said, you know what? You got a heart. You went for the top of the mountain. You lost going after <laughs> the secondary title. But you know what? We're not going to get mad at Austin Theory. We're not going to get mad at WWE for booking this the way they did. They kind of had to do it this way because of, like I said, they had to write that wrong. Of that title being on him. So they had to figure that out. So I'm not going to get mad at them for that. But it is funny that he cashed in and lost. He could not buy a victory. And Bobby Lashley did not help the cause. Where does he go from here? I don't know. But on the Triple H. I have faith. But that was your Monday Night Raw everybody. <laughs> Excuse me. I hope everybody is having a good day. Everybody had a good day. We got NXT tonight, NXT review tomorrow. No more baseball, but it's all good. There's always next year. Shout out my Ravens. We won last night. If you missed my socials, here they are. Other than that, we are out of here. Everybody be safe. I am out. Peace. Down the Marco.